G'day guys, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the best Instagram export settings using Final Cut Pro X. We get a ton of comments on Instagram, people asking us what our export settings are, what programs we use to get our videos looking the way they do on Instagram. So let's go into it right away. So according to the screen here, we've got Final Cut Pro down the bottom of my menu. We're going to go into Final Cut Pro. So my last job has just come up, which is a an Instagram clip of the highlights from the year. So this was all shot in 4K, which is way too big for Instagram. Instagram does not like 4K. It will not upload. So to export this, all I do is click on the Epic Reel 1 Instagram clip there. We've already got our 15 seconds in length, as you can see there. It's just, um, just under 15 seconds, which is good. So we click on that, go to our share project, and I go to master file here. So settings, it's already been on Apple devices, but usually it comes up like this. So you can see here resolution 3840 times 2160. So look down here, it's over a gig. So that is way too big for Instagram. It's just I've already tried doing it before and it just doesn't upload 4k it's just too it's too big so we've got to get it down to a reasonable um, you know megabyte level that it likes so we've got Apple devices which is our format and we got a faster encode just so it you know buffers faster resolution 1920 by 1080 that's you know we've just gone 4k to down to 1080 so that's just what Instagram likes it doesn't like anything too crazy or too big so that's about it guys that's my master file settings there that's that's what I do um, every time I've got an Apple iPhone which I um, which I transfer it to I use Apple again other people are gonna have other ways of doing this guys this is the way I do it it works for me so I'm not saying this is the only way this is just one of many ways to do it so we're gonna go ahead and click next save we're gonna replace it because we that's what we're gonna do okay so it's come up already we're gonna exit this we're gonna minimize everything and now I'm gonna show you guys so here it is here so to get that to our phones now again there's several ways of doing it um, I use AirDrop. I've got all the like the latest Mac. I've got the latest iPhone. Just about one one behind. AirDrop works a dream for me. It's just people can use um, Dropbox, WeTransfer, Google Drive to get this on your phone. AirDrop is just super quick. I'll show you right now how quick it is. So we go down to our menu here, Finder. We go to AirDrop to the left there. My phone's going to come up right now. So then we just drag this Epic Reel Insta Clip, and that's just vibrated my phone, which means it's good. AirDrop, and we're gonna flick back to the um, the camera now, guys. There it is. So it's now on my phone. So we'll pause that. That's how I do it, guys. That's how I get. So I get it from Final Cut, I bring it down to 1080 if it's 4K, get the file size around 18 megabytes. The quality of my phone is like sensational. Um, I can show you on the screen the quality of that clip as well. But what happens is with Instagram, Instagram compresses it even more. So you actually lose quality by uploading it. Instagram just does that so that you can view the video quicker. So you do lose a little bit of quality even you do all the right steps Instagram compresses it even more so you don't get that beautiful crystal clear resolution that we're looking for so just to let you guys know you do lose a little bit of quality because of Instagram's um, video player so that's it guys that's how we get that's how I get it anyway from Final Cut Ed's gonna do the next video on Premiere Pro 
We'll also do one on iMovie, and then we're also going to do another video showing you guys how to get the white border, top and bottom, which some people like on Instagram. And that's the best way to get the you know your footage the, the the most crystal clear, highest resolution is you have a white border, top and bottom, or a black border, top and bottom, and then you crop it down. And we're going to show you that in another video, so we don't overwhelm you, but. That's how I get it done most of the time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Ed's going to bring you the Adobe Premiere. We'll do another one for iMovie. And we'll do the other versions after that. And just keep giving you guys more tips and tricks and showing you how we do all that exporting in our media and all that jazz. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. Write some comments below. You know, just give us some feedback. If there's any other videos that you guys want, we're here to help you. We've got Ed, Christian, Eric. There's a team of us that are all like, just we're going to combine all our knowledge and give you guys as much advice as possible, whether it's drones, editing, exporting, everything, reviews, all that business. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate your support. Give us a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Thanks again. See you guys.